What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for another predicted lineup video as Spurs prepare for their trip to Manchester City tomorrow, 8 p.m. kickoff at the Etihad. Antonio Conte has been in the press conference yesterday, and the team news is in. So, what is it? Yeah, Lucas Moura continues to be out, but great news about Rodrigo Bentenko. He is fit and available and will be um, av uh, available for selection for the Man City game as he's back in first team training. So that's really good news. Obviously, Richarlison was off on, on the bench uh, in the North London derby. So uh, he'll be available again for this game. And uh, Lucas is the only injury. So uh, good news on that front. Yeah, very good news. I'm very excited that Ben Tankle is back. But more or less, we've got fully fit squad now because Lucas, I think you can just count them out the squad at this stage, to be honest. But let's get into the lineup. We're going for a 3 4 3 formation. In goal is going to be Hugo Lloris, and hopefully, he's going to make up and atone for his errors in the North London derby. Yeah, a lot of people calling for Fraser Forster. I don't look, seeing as Lloris is our captain, and I know he's making mistakes at the moment, but um, he's a, he is a leader in the dressing room. He's a very uh, important player in that, on that front. Um, but there are a lot of calls for uh, Fraser Forster to come into this game, given the mistakes he's making, and I can understand it, but I just can't see Conte uh, after publicly backing Lloris after the North London derby, saying he's one of the best goalkeepers uh, in, in Europe or the world, did he say, um, after the game. So I can't see him dropping in for this game. Look, as much as Lloris is declining and as much as um, people want to see Lloris out the team, and I probably would want to see him out the team if we had some adequate replacement as well, but I remember... I remember people clamouring for Lloris to come out the team before and he, and Fraser Forster came in and he made a mistake in, his, in, the, in the game. So I think Lloris is, I think we can all agree that Lloris is a better goalkeeper than Fraser Forster. Mm -hmm. So let's stick with him for now. Let's go to right wing back, uh, toss up between Emerson and Doherty with Jed Spence not being favoured at all. But we are siding with uh, Emerson this game. He had a really good game up at the Etihad last year and we think we could do with his defensive solidity or more defensive solidity than Doherty. Yeah, I think his wingback selections um, um, were calculated um, when it came to the North London derby. I think he had this game in mind and he went with Doherty. He's, got, he's had the number one shirt um, of Len. To be fair, he deserved it because he's playing a lot better than Emerson Royale right now. But I just feel like... He might like well in, play Doherty in goal. Yeah, maybe. But... I've, but um, Emerson in this kind of game, we're going to need someone who's got um, good heading ability, who's who's good in one-on-one -on -one situations, who's good at defending. And I think Emerson is the one uh, we need from a defensive point of view in this game. I don't think Doherty um, can exploit the space as well um, on the counters like, like Emerson can, although um, Emerson isn't very good at all when it comes to uh, attacking. But I just feel like um, Emerson is going to be more suited to this game than Doherty, so that's why we have gone for him. All right. Uh, next to him in the right centre-back position is going to be Kuti Romero. Poor display in the North London derby. And again, cast your mind back to the Etihad win last season. He was just, he, he was that catalyst for us at the back and we need him to do that job again. Yeah, and he's going to have his work out for him um, with um, threats coming from many areas, none less so than Erling Haaland coming through the centre. And he needs to be much better than he was on Sunday if we're going to get anything out of this game. But he needs help from uh, defenders around him as well. So um, hopefully we're hoping for better from uh, Kuti on uh, Thursday. Yeah, and, and that was a key area of the pitch last time at the Etihad, Romero and Emerson. Uh, that's why, that's what enabled Emerson to have such a good game because Romero was so good backing him up every time. Uh, but alongside Romero in that central position, we're going to go for Eric Dyer. Yeah, and he's going to have his hands full uh, with Hurling Haaland. Different, different um, threat to what Man City posed last time we faced him at the Etihad. So he's going to have a much tougher test. Whether he's up to it is another question. He was brilliant last time at the Etihad, um, but a lot has happened since then. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, yeah. And to make up that back three on the left-hand side, we're going to go for Ben Davis. Longley's been um, given the nod couple of games but we're going to say that Davis is going to come back in after the, uh, his last game was against Portsmouth yeah and I think Longley um, struggled against Bukayo Saka a lot on that on that occasion I, and um, I think obviously that this back three was the back three that played at the Etihad last time and I think um, hope look they hopefully know what it takes to kind of win in this kind of game and um, Davis I feel like is better suited um, for this game than Longley so we're going for Davis and then to make up that back five, left wing back is going to be Ivan Perisic with Ryan Sessegnon being relegated to the bench once again. 
yeah, and he's going to be important if we do get set pieces and stuff. But also, when he breaks on the left-hand side and it tries to exploit the space, Sessegnon tried to do that a few times at the Etihad without, with a bit of joy. But if you have Perisic attacking those spaces, hopefully it should lead to um, better efficiency in, in the attacking third. So I think Perisic could be vital. I believe um, he played Sessegnon and, and Doherty on Sunday and I, I reckon it could be with a view of playing Perisic and Emerson in this game mm, Interesting, so let's move on I mean let's recap on that back five for you guys, so in goal is going to be Hugo Lloris, right wing back Emerson Royale, left wing back Ivan Perisic with a back three of Romero, Dyer, and Davis Let's move on to the midfield and we've got a very much welcome return for Rodrigo Bentancur Yeah and he's going to be massive in this game um, not not um, just off the ball where he's so defensively solid and he covers so much ground making tackles to uh, protect the back four but on the ball as well when we're looking to spring on Man City he's going to be the one to have a bit of calmness um, a bit of press resistance be able to turn uh, be on the half turn against Man City uh, midfielders and um, play progressive passes forward and um, it's very important he's able to do that and I think he's so vital in this formation um, for Spurs to be able to dominate the opposition uh, at, at times anyway so I think Ben Tenkor is going to be a welcome return. Absolutely. And alongside him is obviously going to be Pierre Emil Hoybier. Yeah, and um, I think he'll be glad to have his partner back in Bentenko. I think he's a lot better when they're together. And uh, we need Hoybier to up his game, but I back him to do it next to Bentenko. So that's Hoybier, Bentenko, double pivot. On the right-hand side of the attack is Dejan Kulisevsky, who again was very vital to us at the Etihad last season. Yeah. He made his full debut that game. It seems like a lifetime ago, but Kulisevsky on the right-hand side with that creativity and final third um, uh, decision-making is going to be absolutely um, vital uh, when it comes to when we do get the chance to attack City, making the right options and making the most of them. We did it last time and we need him to do it again. Up front, we're going to look at Harry Kane, who was just unplayable last time at the Etihad and we need a very much to repeat performance if we're going to have a repeat scoreline. Yes, yeah, some were saying uh, there were arguments I remember after the game was that the best ever performance from a striker in a Premier League game and there are good arguments for it. He was so electric, that game unstoppable and he's going to be need to perform similarly if Spurs are going to get anything out of this game and he's, look, he's still in great form. I thought he was our best player against Arsenal um, on Sunday and I think well, he tried his best and you've got to remember he's still one goal away from breaking that record and if he did it against Man City it would still be special. Yeah, it really will be and on the left-hand side is a toss-up between Richarlison and Human Son. But we are going to side with Human Son. He is the danger man every time we do play Man City. But his performances all season, to be honest, have been very lacklustre. And we need to get back to basics and back to the Sonny of old because he, he's the one that can really punish Man City. Yeah, I think if it was other different opposition, I'd more seriously consider dropping him for this game and putting him on the bench. But I just feel like I get strategically against a team like Man City, if you take Son out, I think you're taking away your biggest threat to get in behind Man City. And I think it'll kind of be um, you're kind of uh, tying one arm behind your back if we don't have Son in the, in in the game. I understand he's not playing well, and um, if he doesn't play well, then so be it. And I think against Fulham, he has to come out. But I think for this game. Um, we have to back that he'll um, that he's going to be able to uh, hurt City like he has done previously, and I think we need him massively. Yeah, um, yeah. To be honest, I think I might side if if I was the manager, I might side with Richarlison just because of the form Sonny's on, and I think Richarlison can still do a job getting in behind and and cause a threat to Man City. But I'd completely understand the the um, the decision to play Sonny as well. But let's run through that team with you guys one more time. So it's Hugo Lloris in goal, a back three of Romero, Dyer, and Davis, Ivan on the left wing back Emerson on the right wing back Ben Tancor and Hoybier in that double pivot with Kulisevsky and Son supporting Harry Kane Bar Perisic that's the exact same um, lineup we played at the Etihad last year isn't it? It is and um, look obviously Man City are a bit different they've got Haaland now but this team did it last season and they know the blueprint of going away to Man City and winning so hopefully we can get something similar on Thursday but I'm not holding my breath to be honest So what's your score prediction then? I just I think Erling Haaland makes a big difference and I think <laughs> you could say that again <laughs> he makes a big difference I'm obviously look Man City won the league and they're second so you know I, in terms of um, uh, that kind of thing I don't think he does but I think, I think in this kind of game the way City played against us last season I just think um, having a physical presence in the box is going to be a very big difference for Man City being a threat to us so 
um, I think him him being there means we're going to lose. So two one. Yeah, I've just got this thing about me. I think it's just so classic Spurs if we just go there and win tomorrow. You cast your mind back to when we won there last year. We're on a terrible run at that stage as well. Nobody had any hopes for top four. And I've just got a bit of a similar feeling as well. And, you know, the whole narrative behind the Premier at, in the Premier League right now is if we win, we're, we're giving Arsenal a major advantage. And I've just got a feeling it's going to be the case. So I'm going to go for a 3-2 win to Tottenham Hotspur. Me and Daigle are going to be up there tomorrow night getting Getting all the action from inside the stadium. Sim, will we be back on the watch alongs for Come you on. tomorrow night with um, Barry and Sai? So tune in for that one and we'll see you all tomorrow. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come, come on, on, you Spurs. Spurs.